Mandarin, one of China's seven major languages, is used to communicate key information. No time for misunderstandings here. Clarity counts, and for the clearest vision of the site itself, you need another perspective. A view from the tallest building in Guangzhou, the TV tower. From this height, Roger can show how location will shape the ability to generate power. It's very important uh, in the design of the Pearl River Tower that we, we take into consideration uh, the context, uh, the physical context and, and the environmental context. Uh, the Pearl River Tower is going to be built along uh, a central axis for the new central business district uh, in the new town area of Guangzhou. Uh, the building will be located on the northwest corner and in this location, the building will have uninterrupted access to sunshine through most of the day. As the sun rotates through the sky, uh, we have this great park that will sit in front of the building that will uh, not block the sunshine that uh, will come in contact with it. By carefully angling the skyscraper, the architects will fully exploit solar energy. The sun's rays are strongest on the south and east. Photovoltaic cells will be integrated into the building's external shading system to provide electricity, but also to protect workers from excess solar radiation. But the other thing that happens is the prevailing winds in Guangzhou for most of the year are coming from the south. And as these winds pass through this new central business district, there will be no other buildings blocking this wind before they come in contact uh, with the Pearl River Tower. So uh, the winds will hit the turbines, and they will be the first thing that the wind sees. But between absorption of wind and absorption of, of, of sunlight, these energy streams will be turned into power, and this power will be, help, uh, will be what helps to drive the building. But at the site, the building is far from finished. Shu is installing a new crane.